welcome to 4F Beauty. As you can see today, I've done a really nice bright look. Uh, I'm doing a wear time test on this Wet n Wild foundation, which we can get from Amazon if you're in the UK. And I've used this to do this lovely bright look that you can see. So, if you want to see how I achieve this look, and find out when will I be YouTube famous? You're in the right place. Well, I haven't got an answer for the song yet, but uh, I can certainly show you how I achieve this. Stay tuned. Here comes the tutorial. Hey, welcome back from the intro. Well, today I've got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation on and the Colourpop No Filter Concealer. And now I'm going to use some of this loose powder from Makeup Rev, the lace powder, just to set all of this before my concealer creases too much. Now, this eye is going to be looking a little bit bloodshot because, as you will see if you watch the foundation review, I managed to get a loose eyelash in my eye um, and it really has irritated it uh, to the point that I had to. Redo all the foundation on this eye because my eye wept so much there was no foundation left on it. So, if when I zoom in in a minute, this eye's looking a bit bloodshot, that's why. It's nothing to worry about. But I wanted to make the most of the, the good light while we've got it. That's my fluffy brush, just to set that. I thought I would to bring you in a little bit, really, didn't I? There we go. And now I'm going to use my Real Techniques Travel Kabuki to push this into my nose. Because this is the bit of my face that really doesn't like foundation. Just dust any excess across the eyes again. And then I'll go in with a nice big, <clears throat> big old fluffy brush just to set the rest of my face with this powder. Um, one of the things with this foundation is it does smell like a pot of emulsion when you first open it. But Honestly, it wears off in no time. I can't even smell it now. So, initially it does smell quite strong. So you do need to bear that in mind if you're going to be using it. But, honestly, the smell dissipates pretty much as soon as you've got it blended in. So, that's that set. Um... Let's go into the Freedom ones today, I think. Go into my <clears throat> Too Faced dupe. Now these kick up a lot of powder. Big fluffy brush. You can see I very barely touched that and look at the amount of powder on it already. Just, uh, but it is a lovely light shade. They do do a um, a darker one suitable for deeper skin tones and this does build up so you can use this if you're probably light medium sort of tan colour you'd be able to use this too because you can build it up quite a bit actually uh, but me being pale as pale I can just use a really light dusting of it benefit of that is it's going to last me for ages. Okay, as always this is my bronzer blush, brush even, and this is my blush brush, which is more tapered. And again I'm going to go into the Freedom blush, which looks like this. It does have in such a slight shimmer to it. So, if you're using it on a day when you don't have a lot of time, you can actually get away without putting a highlight on or like for work 
look you don't want to have you've only got blinding highlights you don't particularly want to glow like a beacon at your desk or your checkout station or wherever you may happen to work school then that's a really good one it's nice and natural right brow time clean spoolie just to brush through them and my usual essence uh, pomade pencil waterproof in dark brown which has got a brush at one end and a twisty up thing at the other end and if you take this brush out there's actually a sharpener on the end of it which is great and I'm just gonna follow the shape of my brow when I'm doing a pencil I always seem to do the top of it first um, when I was using powders or pomades I tended to do the bottom first I mean there's no hard and fast rule you do your brows whichever way works best for you really this is why I like this pomade pencil rather than an ordinary pencil. It is that bit creamier. You can sort of gently push it through your brows like that. Which means you can use less product and it gives you a more natural brow. If you look back through my Instagram you will see that I did attempt the old, uh, oh god, the Instagram brow which yeah, I wasn't too good at the fading out bit at the front, so I ended up looking like I coloured my face in with a sharpie. We all have times when we look back on our makeup and go, what was I thinking? I mean, thankfully, I say thankfully, during the 80s when I was at school, we weren't actually allowed to wear makeup to school. So all of us girls got very good at just, you know, concealer, powder, blusher clear mascara and a, a lip lip gloss which we said was lip salve to try and get around the rules um, but by virtue of that it does mean that there's very few photographs of me with the 80s makeup on one or two have survived so I can't get away from those memories okay going into my benefit ready set brow which yes they've renamed to brow setting gel or something you don't have to use this you can use this is the essence clear um, lash and brow gel you can spray hairspray onto a spoolie anything just to keep your brows where you want them because although I don't have majorly bushy brows because of over plucking them I do occasionally have the odd errant hair which decides to curl up and point in a direction completely all of its own which can be very frustrating okay um, I think I'm going to go in for quite a colourful look today so I'm going to go in with my Juvia's the Zulu palette has got such a lovely strong magnet closure on this And these are the stunning colours as you can see. Nice mix of mattes and shimmers there. Right, I am going to start off with a fluffy brush and I'll bring you in a wee bit closer. Oh, I'm still quite sore. Let's just pretend we can't see that eye for a minute, shall we? Just, just ignore that one. I'll try and put the... I'll, I'll annotate the palette and just like stick it here so you can't see. Right, I'm going to start off... Um, I think I'm going to go into the yellow to start with. Now with Juvia's, do be careful. They are extremely pigmented. And although there's not a lot of kick up, it does get some look. See? So make sure you tap your brush off. As always, I've got my colour switch. You can see I've just tapped my brush off there. 
and I'm going to start at the outside edge and windscreen wiper across the top of my eyeball. Now when I look straight ahead you can see all of the mobile lid here which means I don't have a hooded eye. If you only see half of it or none of it then you've got a hooded lid. So you're probably thinking, oh well I can't follow this because I'm not going to be able to see anything. Yes you can. What you need to do is get a pencil brush, pick up the colour that whichever colour we're going to be using for our crease. This works for any um, makeup tutorial that has a crease colour. And with your eye open, just lightly sketch so you can see the crease would actually be at the top of where the yellow is for me at the moment. So instead of your crease starting here, your crease would start here. So you can still follow along, you just have to move your crease up a little bit. Right, so we've done our windscreen wiper, and now we're going to do, holding the brush at the very end, so we use as little pressure as possible, we're just going to do little circular movements like this, helicoptering backwards and forwards, not that kind of helicoptering, backwards and forwards. Slowly blending that colour up. I normally take it to within about five or six mils of my brow because I find with my face shape that's what works best with me but you take it up as high as you feel comfortable if you want to go right up to your brow you go right up to your brow it does make the brow highlight a bit difficult later on because you will be overlapping it but it's still doable I mean, you can see there I didn't re-dip at all that was literally from my first pickup of colour and that's blended all the way up Juvia's is a black owned makeup brand and you will find with black owned brands like Juvia's, like Beauty Baker etc. I'm not sure, I think Blush Tribe might be um, because I know on their logo on Instagram they have a, a woman of colour but that could just be a aesthetic choice but I don't know, then they might be um, a black owned indie brand. Black owned makeup brands, because they're aimed at people who have more melanin, you do tend to find that any colours are a lot more pigmented, even lighter colours like this, pack a lot more pigment because obviously they're designed to show up against a darker skin than mine. So if you're looking for a real punch of colour, then you know look at a black owned makeup brand because you will get pigment like this just cleaning that brush off on my colour switch and I think do you know what I think I'm going to go into that sort of emeraldy green I quite like the look of that today I make this up as I go along which colours I want, I decide which palette I want and then I'm like, mm, what colours do I feel like doing today? So again, into the corner, windscreen wiper it across. And then circular movements, but obviously I'm not taking this as high as I took the yellow, otherwise we're not going to be able to see the yellow. But I still want a nice seamless blend of where the two colours meet. You shouldn't ever be able to say, oh look, that's the unless you're doing a cut crease, there shouldn't ever be an absolute solid line between two colours. They should always blend. Gives you a more seamless look. I mean you can see the difference between the two, look, just adding that green on. Anybody who tells you if you've got green eyes you can't use green shadow, if you've got blue eyes you can't use blue shadow, of course you can. Admittedly, other colours do tend to bring the green out more in my eyes. You know, if I use a, a purple or a grey or um, certain browns, they really make the green pop. But there's no reason why. I mean, you can see with my green eyes, this actually looks quite nice. Leastways, I think so anyway. 
So how you been doing? Do you still have snow where you are or is it all gone? Has the, uh, has the pest from the west arrived yet? Because obviously I'm, I'm filming this after the beast from the east thankfully has left the south east. Um, they're now threatening us with the pest from the west which I think is going to hit um, Devon and Cornwall first. So you be careful if you're down there and it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> just cleaning my brush off. So I'm not adding any more colour and I'm just going to buff over where the green and the yellow meet just to give me that beautiful seamless look that I want. The trick of blending is you do it until your hand gets really sore and feels like it's going to fall off your arm and you blend for a little bit more. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to pick up that little chubby pencil brush I was talking about and I'm going to deepen this up a little bit and I do love my purples so I'm going to have to use that purple. As you can tell I'm not frightened of using colour. And I'm just going to sketch out where I want the purple to be through my crease or wherever yours is and then I'm going to go about a third of the way along the lash line and just ever so lightly colour that corner in there. And then picking up this Real Techniques brush, which is slightly smaller than the first one we used, but still a nice fluffy brush. I'm going to dip just the bristle, the tip of the bristles look, into that purple. Pop it in the corner, give it a waggle. As you know by now, we waggle on the top lid and we wiggle on the bottom one. So I give it a waggle, little short movements along that crease line to, to deepen it up a little bit. And then just gently blow that corner out like that. And then this time we're not taking it up above the crease at all, we're just doing our circular movements along our line that we made. If you're wondering why I haven't got this eye shut, it's because I'm blind in this one. So if I uh, close this eye, ah, uh, yeah, really would be the blind leading the blind. Okay, so that's just deepened that up nicely. And now I'm going to quick swig of my drink. And I'm going to repeat on this side, which I can shut. Sorry, my phone's going mad next to me. I'm going to have a cartload of notifications to read. I hope it's not fidgeting you too much. Dipping the tip of the bristles in and giving it a bit of a waggle. Don't be frightened of colour because if you put some colours on, I mean if I wouldn't suggest doing this on a day when you've got to be in a rush, but, you know, play with colour. Put colours together that you wouldn't think would necessarily go. Blend them, put another colour in between them, see what happens. Have fun, use the colour wheel. Just... Makeup to me is art, it's an expression, it's... There's no mistakes, just as Bob Ross would say, happy little accidents. <clears throat> You're old enough to remember Bob Ross. 
Now I'm going to go into a nice flat brush like this. And I'm going to pick up a colour to smoke the bottom lash line out with. There's a beautiful chocolate brown in this palette. Let's pick some of that up. It really does look like a Dara Galaxy. Let me take that right up underneath her bottom lashes. And take it about two thirds of the way along the bottom of the lid. And repeat on this side. <sighs> that sun's determined to mess with my white balance today, isn't it? Mind you, it's nice to see the sun. It's better than having snow or rain or whatever going on outside. Clean that brush off. And then I'm going to pick up <clears throat> this shape brush. And there's a really pretty little shimmery bronzy colour, which I'm just going to pick up on, again, the very tip of the bristles. And just lightly blend that along the bottom. Just to smudge and smoke that bottom lash line out. You don't have to put a bottom lash colour in if you don't want to, but I just think it finishes the look off nicely. And now I'm going to pick up a nice chunky packer brush like this. And there is a real difficulty in choice now because I've got this gorgeous sea bluey green but then that fabulous green next to it, look at that. Ooh. I think it's going to have to be the green, isn't it? Right, so pick up colour. Freshly mown grass on a cricket pitch. But bearing in mind, this is going on with a dry brush. If you were to wet your brush with Fix Plus or a setting spray, this would go on even brighter. But I wanted to show you just how punchy Juvia's can be. This is, I mean, they've, they've, really got pigment I mean, you know who can look at that who can complain when you get pigment on a shimmer like that isn't that absolutely stunning such a fantastic colour reminds me of a, the honey, my honeymoon actually we went to um, Southern Ireland we did uh, Dublin and Kilkenny and Waterford. Uh, really was lovely. Absolutely certain. The people there were so friendly. So friendly. Right, using the fluffy brush that we put the purple on with without any colour on it, I'm just going to gently blend where the green and the purple meet. Because obviously this isn't a cut crease. So we just want to make sure that there's a nice blend between the two. Look at that. If that doesn't scream summer to you, I don't know what does. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to do liner and mascara off camera. And I will be right back. Don't go anywhere now. There we go. Liner 
and lashes and now it's time for highlight I'm going to be going in with the Manny Jeffrey collab Uranus or Uranus however it is you want to pronounce it but it's this beautiful you can see how much I've used it look the <laughs> the moon has nearly completely disappeared from it it's my absolute favorite of his it, it's taken over from ice cold is my favorite it's the most beautiful pale gold and it works even on skin as pale and as cool based as mine so let's zoom you in a little bit then using a little brush like this I'm just going to pick some up do a brow bone highlight just helps to lift the brow slightly gives it a bit of a younger look almost And then, <laughs> sun's determined to mess with my white balance today. And then I'm going to go into the corner. Just to give me that, I am awake, really, honestly, look. Am I fooling it yet? Although technically I have been up since 5 o'clock this morning so I should be awake by now. Hubby had an early start so that necessitated me having an early start as well. Right, now into my teardrop shape one which as you know, I've said this before with Jeffrey's highlights. Because although they're powder, they're so creamy they can get what's termed hard pan on them which is where they go shiny and then it can be quite difficult to pick up any colour but I find if you use a slightly more densely packed brush the hard pan doesn't seem to happen as often as when you use like a fan brush or a smaller brush um, and when it does happen you can still pick colour up let's zoom you out a fraction just while we do the cheeks my favourite bit One of the things I love about Jeffrey's highlights, partly the glow that you get from them, um, they make his skin look almost wet. Um, and also, when you're looking straight on at the camera, which I'll demonstrate as soon as I've just blended this out, when I look straight on, you can't see that colour until I turn my head and the light catches it. Which isn't too much of a hassle if you're using like Princess Cut or Ice Cold or this one but if you're using his blue one or his green one it's kind of important that you don't get a sudden blue or green stripe up here otherwise you tend to look a little bit like Adam Ant from the Prince Charming video if you are old enough to remember that okay lipstick wise today I'm actually going to go in with this MAC Lipstick. I don't particularly like MAC because of the animal testing, but I am not going to throw away what I've already bought. So let's zoom you in a little bit. This is a really nice sort of mauvey, pinky, neutrally colour because where I've gone so bright in the eyes I thought I'd better do something a little bit more sensible for the lips. MAC's doe foot is this shape. Okay. As always, inside of the bottom lip first, then turn it sideways. Use the edge of the applicator. To shape your bottom lip. And then for the top lip, this works in exactly the same way as the Jeffrey ones do. You turn them 45 degrees and you do one little stroke on your cupid's bow. Keeping it the same angle, you do the same thing on the outside of the lip. 
and then turn it 45 degrees the other way and repeat. You then have an M. So now you turn your applicator upside down and you go from the corner to the line you've just made. And I do overline mine ever so slightly on the top lip because my top lip's thinner than my bottom. And once you're happy with the shape, you just colour it in. I've been wearing liquid lipstick for so long I now find it difficult to put a bullet lipstick on. <laughs> right, let's zoom you back out again. Now the setting spray I'm going to be using today is Rimmel Insta Fix and Go. This is brilliant. You can use this as a primer as well. But obviously I use my antiperspirant. If you look, it's got a really nice fine spray. And it it smells like watermelon. It actually reminds me, um, back in 1990 when I had my first posh haircut, they used Paul Mitchell styling products. And the hairspray smelled just like this, this watermelon. So this brings back memories of me leaving school and having my first expensive haircut and starting work and... God, I'm old. Right. Enough reminiscing, time to spray the face. Keep this makeup put. You can stop now if you want. I'm just a little bit extra, and I like my makeup to stay put. Okay, don't go anywhere. I'm going to sort my hair out. I'll be straight back. Hey, told you it won't be long. Instant in YouTube land. So there we go. There's our nice, bright look using the Juvia's Zulu palette. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, perhaps you'd like to press the like button. And if you hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it, you'll get told every time. I upload a new video and if you enjoyed it maybe consider sharing it to uh, share the love because if you enjoyed watching this maybe someone you know will as well all right have a really great day bye for now mm -hmm.